Philadelphia Eagles teams of the early 1940s. The Eagles stumbled in the darkness of the Eastern Division cellar and were even forced to combine with the Pittsburgh Steelers to make one team when their few quality players were drafted for World War II. Uh, they called the team the Steagles. But in 1945, Philadelphians celebrated both the end of the war and the emergence of Eagle quarterback Tommy Thompson, a one-eyed wonder from Oklahoma. With Thompson calling the plays, Philadelphia had a clear sight line to the world championship. Artist Tommy Thompson came out of Tulsa as a single wing tailback in 1940, but as a professional, he became a classic drop back passer. Teamed in the backfield with future Hall of Famer Steve Van Buren, Thompson transformed the lackluster Philadelphia Eagles into a lead powerhouse in the late 40s. He had an exceptionally strong arm, very competitive. In fact, the Eagles, uh, with Van Buren, who I considered in, in those days was the greatest runner in pro football, we couldn't win as great as our running game was. We needed somebody like Thompson to throw the ball. And, of course, when he started to throw, we started to win championships instead of football games. Thompson guided the Eagles to three straight division crowns, earning NFL championships in 48 and 49. He also topped the league in passing, achieving all this despite a serious physical handicap. He had cataracts in his his left eye, and it came from a blow with a javelin in, uh, in, uh, when he was in high school. As a result of this, he was handicapped. He had one bad eye that he didn't see too well out of. Apparently, Thompson saw well enough out of his other eye to tie a league record of 25 touchdown passes in a single season, pleasing head coach Greasy Neal. Greasy respected Tommy for another skill, too. He was a scratch golfer, by the way, with one eye. I don't, for those of you who play golf and aren't scratch golfers with two eyes. And next to coaching and betting on the horses, Greasy loved golf. And when we'd have two-a-day practices in training camp and it was getting a little hot, we'd give Tommy the sign and tell him to get the old man, see? And along about the middle part of that practice that morning, Thompson would look at Greasy and Thompson would say, gee, I feel pretty good today. I think I can give you three shots on the first nine uh, and take you easy. If you want to take a try at it, and the old man, Greasy, would look at that and say, what'd you say? And he'd say, I'll give you three shots for about 100. You will, huh? Well, I think we're working pretty good. No practice this afternoon. So we'd get off of practice, and Tommy would take Greasy out on the golf course. Whether it was sinking a birdie on the 18th hole or leading the birds of Philadelphia, Tommy Thompson was a winner. In 1951, Tommy retired, a one-eyed eagle whose vision made his team a champion.